might think your phone number is safe, but what if I told you that hackers could steal your SIM card without ever touching your phone? SIM swapping, also called SIM cloning, is one of the fastest growing cyber threats, and most people don't even know it's happening until their bank account is empty. It all starts with your phone number. It's tied to everything, your bank, email, WhatsApp, 2FA. Once a hacker controls that, they basically become you, and they don't need sophisticated gear, just some publicly available info, and a little social engineering. Let's break it down. First, how does SIM swapping actually work? Hackers gather personal data, your full name, address, phone number, maybe even your mother's maiden name sounds harmless, right? But with a few data points from a phishing email, leaked database, or even your social media bio, they can call your mobile provider and impersonate you. They say they've lost their phone, they've got a new SIM card, and guess what? Most telecom customer service reps don't verify deeply. Within minutes, they transfer your number to the hacker's SIM. Your phone suddenly loses signal. That's not bad coverage, that's game over. Now the attacker receives every call, every text, every 2FA code, while you're scrambling to figure out what just happened. This is how SIM swappers get into Gmail, PayPal, crypto wallets, and even bypass biometric locks if recovery options are tied to the number. One moment of negligence can cost you thousands or your entire online identity. But wait, there's more. Some advanced attackers don't even talk to your carrier. They use SIM cloning tools, like programmable SIM cards, IMS eye catchers, or GSM readers, to copy your SIM's data physically. It's less common but far more dangerous. These tools are mostly found on darknet markets or hacker forums, but they're not illegal to own. There are even Android malware apps disguised as games or utilities that silently clone SIM data and send it to remote servers. If this sounds overwhelming, it should, because SIM hijacking isn't just about tech, it's about exploiting people. Social engineering is still the hash one tool in a hacker's kit, and they're getting better every day. So what can you do? First, lock your SIM card. Most phones have an option to set a SIM pin. Without it, no one can insert your SIM into another device without the code. Second, call your mobile provider and add a verbal password or PIN to your account. That way, no one can port your number without saying the right magic word. Third, never use SMS-based 2FA for sensitive accounts. Use authenticator apps like Authy or Google Authenticator, or even better, hardware keys like YubiKey. Also, be careful about what you post online. Oversharing personal info gives attackers the breadcrumbs they need to impersonate you. Use different emails for different services. Don't tie your crypto wallet to the same email as your Facebook. If one goes down it shouldn't drag everything else with it. And check if your number has been involved in any SIM swap attack, using tools like Have I Been PBUned or dedicated SIM swap checkers from cybersecurity firms. Still wondering why someone would target you? It's not always personal. Hackers use bots to scrape random numbers and test for vulnerabilities. If you're part of a breached database, you're fair game. The scary truth is, this doesn't just happen to celebrities or crypto whales, it happens to regular people every day, and it's increasing fast. Reports show that SIM swapping attacks rose by over 300% in the past few years, and the losses are in the billions. So, what's the verdict? If your phone suddenly loses signal without warning, don't just reboot. Take it seriously log out of everything, notify your provider, and freeze your accounts. Because in 2025, your phone number isn't just a number, it's the key to your entire digital life.